Greens live in Nottingham, where Tracy and Ben are training 11-year-old daughter Shantae for the 2012 Olympics. Birmingham is the home of the free-loving Ramsey family. Chris and Gray are swingers and live with their kids, 16-year-old Ginny, 18-year-old Ray Jr, 19-year-old Sam and her three-year-old daughter Jess. Tracy and Chris have agreed to swap families for two weeks to find out what they can learn about themselves and each other. What happens when a tough disciplinarian is forced to spoil his daughter? You're supposed to be her parents. I'm also supposed You're to, supposed I'm to be also her parents. I'm also supposed to be a garden and explain to her, understand that you don't get everything just like that. No. Just that's like about, that. No, that's just you. Babe. No, just that's like you. that. How will a laid back dad cope when he's forced to get tough? You're not supposed to be out, don't you understand? What's your background? I mean, how often have you yesterday? And what will a traditional mum make of a real wife swap? This is fetish. Do you want to stand on there and I can show you? No, no, no. Thank you anyway. <laughs> is there something missing in the relationship to feel the need to have sex out of the marriage? OK. Just pick up on each lap one second in the lap. That's all you need to do, one second in each length. The Green family from Nottingham are super fit and highly ambitious. Mum Tracy and stepdad Ben's goal is for 11-year-old Shantae to swim for England in the 2012 Olympics. She's training hard and she's training six times a week. She's putting 110% in every time she trains. So hopefully, and the targets we've like, given her, she's achieving them. When she did it the other day, I said to you, didn't you work? Could you have gone quicker? She says, yeah. So she's not done it before. Tracy wants to see Shantae succeed where she failed. When I was a kid, I was a very good swimmer like Shantae as well. And I was spotted. And my dad said no. Didn't want me to go. Shantae's gruelling swimming schedule dominates the entire family routine. Yeah, what time are you training tonight? Um, it starts half eight. Mum and Dad take equal responsibility for keeping the programme on course, as well as sharing the chores. If you work together as a team, and then you'll have more time to actually no, together, so you that you person just doing it all on their own. They always say sport gives dedication. It also teaches them discipline. If you discipline when they're at a young age, and then they'll learn when they get older. Their strict regime for Shantae includes fines for neglecting her many chores and misbehaving. I just think it's good, so I like know where I am kind of thing. So I'm not too naughty. There is no such thing as too naughty for Chris and Ray Ramsey. Have a look. Should I perform in place? <laughs> the Birmingham couple are real life wife swappers. Swinging is intimate fun with each other and with other consenting adults. Lovely. Can't beat it. The couple married 21 years ago, when Chris was just 21 and Ray was 38. Ray was my mum and dad's best friend. My mum and Ray went to school together. So, Ray's always been in the family, changed my bottom when I was a baby. These days, it's Chris who treats 60-year-old Ray like a baby, doing everything for him. He's just a cabbage patch husband, really. Yeah, I've got something in that drink. No, it's just coke. What? You didn't get me. Their free living ways also extend to their parenting. There's no rules and there's no discipline in the house. They rule the house, really. Yes, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. They rule the house. They don't push their kids to do anything. And the kids do what they want. 19 year old Sam has chosen to be a lap dancer. I like the job because it's more like a night out for me. Because I can go out and I can see my friends, I can have a drink, I can have a cigarette, do you know what I mean? I can earn money as I'm spending it, and then I come home and I've got money and I can do whatever I like with it. What's this? Meanwhile, Sam leaves much of the childcare to her mum, Chris. So there's times when me and Ray want to go out, but we have to now think about who's going to have Jess. My job revolves around Jessica. As a nurse, Chris has a demanding job. But she still has to fetch the family's takeaways seven days a week. And even buys her kids cigarettes. As a nurse, I know it's wrong, but hey, -o. I'm a parent and I love my kids and I just want them to be happy. You can be replaced. I'm the cook cleaner, bottle washer, washing up lady, babysitter, taxi driver. I do everything. Thanks.
don't cry to that. Bye bye. bye. Before meeting their new families, Chris and Tracy have the chance to look around their new homes. Okay. So definitely younger, this pot is in the living room. There's nappies as well. Oh. No. Kids can generally annoy me. Oh, somebody's in the swim squad. Is that enforced on the child, or does she enjoy doing it? Things Raymond don't eat. So don't eat shepherd's pie, cottage pie or lasagna. If Shante put a list up saying she wouldn't eat that, then she'd eat it, I'd make it. She's really into her swimming. I hope they don't get up early in the morning to go swimming. <gasps> I am not getting up at any time to go... Oh, this must be the love room. Jesus Christ. It's very organised up here. They're a very straight-laced family. Both wives have written a manual as a guide to running their homes. There are lots of people in our house, but I don't believe in rules or discipline. No. How can you like it, disordered and undisciplined with no rules? And Shantae swims for the county. She's very ambitious and trains six days a week. What other life does this girl have apart from swimming? Many people would think that we have a very strange relationship. We are swingers. Crazy people share their partners. I would never share my husband. There's something's lacking in the relationship because otherwise you wouldn't swing. Jesus Christ, what a manual. The child swims more than she has a life. Hello. 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 How are you? All right, thank are you, you very right? much. Yeah. Yeah. I'll introduce that them all. That's Jessica. Ginny, <laughs> Samantha, hey, what? And that's Raymond. Hello, right. um, everyone. Ray as well. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm right. That's Raymond. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hello. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Hi. Oh, I'll get my hook. Right. Hello, darling. My name's Chris. I'm ben. Hello, young lady. Hey. Hello. Right. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, don't worry. I don't bite. I need to Stop shaking me. Right. I want to get the bath right, cos right. I don't want you moaning at me. So how do you like it? You can always it? add up water. Go and get the food. More used to an equal partnership, Tracy must now play the role of dutiful wife. First task is running Ray's bath and laying out his clothes. Socks. So what, what no. would you normally just... Anything. I wear what every couple of So generally just that? Yep. Yeah. pair of socks. And when I come in, I'll just put myself some shorts on and a t-shirt. Yeah. I can't, I'm just, maybe I'm just too much of a feminist, but even running the bath for somebody every night to me is weird. I'd do it if I wanted to do it, but I wouldn't do it because it was part of my duty. So far, so good. I'm very impressed so far. But it's only day one. <laughs> There's been no pressure on it yet. <laughs> Tracy's next chore is dinner. And as usual, it's a takeaway. Dinner! <laughs> Dad! She's generally not a good eater, then, though. She don't eat enough to get the bird alive. But there was nothing nutritionist on that. And that little baby tonight they brought her chips and nuggets and she didn't eat any of it. This is bizarre. This is a cooker. No. Dinner's also Some proving to be an issue in Nottingham. Veg. Should I cook spaghetti bolognese? Have you got pasta sauce and stuff? Um, bolognese sauce and... No, we make our tomato. own. Oh, OK. Um, have you got some oil? Some oil for...? To fry the mince. All right. Well, to fry the mince? Yeah. Well, I'm going to... Oh, it fries in its own. Do you in... not put any oil in it? No, no, no. Okay. It fries in its own fat, don't it? See, the front one's too high, so I would put it on the back one. See, what, I put that one to the back. On. Put that one to the back. Okay. And then turn it down. You look worried, Ben. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just watching what, I'm just actually watching what you do, you see. I won't poison you. We'll have some fun with dinner. After a few days, I should start getting on my nerves. I think. Yeah. It's very controlling because obviously now I'm trying to cook dinner. Um, He's trying to get in there and 
do it either way. So I think we're going to have a few issues about what he should and shouldn't be doing. So that'll be fun. It's Ben's house, but it'll be my house next week. My rules. It's strict mum Tracy Green's first day living in the liberal Ramsey's home. Her first job is to look after baby Jess. Stay there. Whilst mum Sam and her boyfriend recover from the late night. Don't be too far back. Jesus. Oh. Sheriff f up then, innit? Tell him bad boy. She's thick as She's a baby. Chris. She's acting like mum to the child rather than grandma. Just needs to realise that mum's the boss and grandma's just grandma. Do I get up with her in the morning? Yeah. And what time does she get up? She'll get up about, it depends, varies, normally about half past seven, eight o'clock. Sam leaves Jess in mum's care four days a week, while she goes to work in Cheltenham as a lap dancer. Yeah. So then when she comes down, what does she like to do? What she'll just mind? sit in front of the telly when she wakes up in the morning. She'll just sit in front of the telly with yeah. a bottle. She won't do anything, which will be fine. Does she like to watch anything in particular? She likes, Six she'll tell you, she'll say Fifi. She'll take her mouth off you and the man. Yeah, she'll take her mouth yeah. off you and try and do it herself. Ah. The yeah. telly's hers all she day. She controls the TV, that's why I'm on the computer all day. Yeah. What? She controls the telly. Ooh. She does. She does. It's like from 8 in the morning to like, she gets so to no bed. Does anyone else watches it? Three year olds don't control tellies. There seems to be a chain of um, not having good mum interaction skills. And it seems to be going down the family, starting from grandma to mum to daughter to their daughter. And, you know, you've got four generations there and it could hit a fifth if the pattern don't get amended. Next up, it's the breakfast run to McDonald's. When it was when she'd take away breakfast at, that's the one I really, really couldn't get around. I didn't even let my daughter have chocolate cereals in the morning. <laughs> at the Greens in Nottingham, Shantae's got herself ready. And with early morning chores already done, she's off to the gym. She does swimming six days a week. Outside activities away from swimming, she hasn't got. Your life is promoting her for her swimming. So a lot of your money is pushed into her swimming, a lot of your effort and your time is pushed into her swimming. Yeah. You are promoting, you and Tracy yeah. are doing everything for her, right, because you want to do the best for her. I am doing exactly the same, I want the best for my children. So I give my children the best. But that isn't being the best for them. Why isn't I mean, it? Spoiling, like I said. But not what's wrong it. with spoiling your kids? What's the problem? They don't respect or they do. gratitude for anything. They do, deep down, I think. No, no. right. They do, uh, deep down, I but think. But then, well, no, no oh, yeah. in fact, I'll yeah. take that back. I hope that they respect me. You're doing really great! While the family enjoy yet more TV time... <laughs> this is <laughs> son. Tracy's had to pick up the second takeaway of the day. So you took your time, didn't you? The chip shot was absolutely rammed. Was it? Do you need it upstairs? Do you need food? Do you want a can of pop? In a minute. Um, Jeff? Do you need to add to packets, plates? Whatever pleases you. Do you know if you and what's him did cook every night, do you think you prefer that than takeaways? I'm just curious, because obviously it's the only second <coughs> time I've been here and had two takeaways. Uh, I prefer takeaway. Really? Yeah, as long as I can might pick them. It's about £25 they wasted on tonight's dinner. I tell you something, I've got bad stomach already, I have. Dinner in the greenhouse is a healthier option, with Shantae's special training diet. Whoever comes in first has got to start dinner because Shantae has to go swimming and she has to eat for a certain time. So we have to get dinner done as quick as we can. After dinner, the family's evening is devoted to Shantae swimming. But she's up and down that line for an hour. It's too competitive for an 11-year-old. There's too much competition in anything now, and in sports as well. I know the so government are in people should compete then? No, uh, no, that's not what I said. What I'm so saying is she's 11. The level. She's 11. Yeah, but they start, at, they start at four and five. Not, well, that's wrong. It's up to you what you want your daughter to do. Do they do an exercise? My daughter, Sam, pole dancer, she's around a pole all night and day, all night. That's, she is 
physically fit. Tell me, time does she train right? She does. She does as she works. That's her training when she works, and she does that four days a week, four nights a week. So do you really want your daughter to do that then? Do I want it to? Yeah. It makes her happy then. So. There's no difference between you supporting Sean and everything she does and backing her 100% because that's something she loves to do. And there's no difference to me and my daughter who chooses to lap dance and pole dance because that's something she wants to do. I'm saying to you but it is. It's coming across as if that's something you, you think is disgusting. I find it wrong, yes. Do you? Lap dancers. And prostitutes, they're different. That's, but they a, do that's cross a real over. general, like, that's a gen, that's But a, they do cross over. No, they don't. No, they don't. Because you're comparing that somebody's a lap dancer or a pole dancer is also into prostitution and they're not. I didn't say, I said it's you a said crossover. It's cross over. Well, they don't. Some do. Well, not as far as I'm aware, they don't. And I think that's a. That's your daughter, then. He more or less insinuated that, you know, if you're a lap dancer and a pole told dancer, you're a prostitute. I thought, hang on, that's my daughter you're talking about there, mate. You know, you're on a fine line here because I will flip. In the Ramsey house, Ginny's extreme views cause concern for Tracy. I'm not racist, but I just don't like Asian people. What? Put in it like that, I bloody hate Why? I just do. I can't stand He just wants to go out and shoot them. Why? No, it's yeah, not it's right. No, no, but we... So every time I'd go to apply for a job, I'd walk in the next day, someone I didn't see there before, and then I'd be. That's, that's yeah, the but what, what if you... You know, if you met somebody, cos... and there was really nice, would the fact that they're Asian cloud your... Well, no, if they were all right, no. Of course oh, right, so it's not just Asian per no, se. No, no. Right. Not, what not... about you? <laughs> it's general people. It's How the majority are? of... So, so in other words, it's, 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 it's terrorists. Terrorist. I don't like it. That's why yeah, but not all Asians are terrorists. Yeah, I know, but it's like most of them are. You can't just say, I don't like you, you're Asian. I was surprised that Dad didn't pull, pull her up for it, really. Do you think you're the structure parent or your wife? Um, I used to be the disciplinarian, but Chris reckons I'm, I was too, too strict with them. Do you find the cheeky now you're not disciplined? Oh, yeah. Definitely. So you've have you thought to going back to say in? And it's too late now. Never too late. The rules of the house allow the boyfriends of 19-year-old Sam and 16-year-old Ginny to regularly stay over. Unfortunately, last night, I, you know, I could hear Sam and a boyfriend through the wall. Well, Jess was in the room. I didn't hear Jess wake up, but surely. If I could hear it from my bed here, and I'm not, my bed's not on the wall, and it was loud, then Dad's got to have heard that. And to be honest with you, I felt like knocking on the door and saying, do you mind? Yeah. No way would I let Shanta have a boyfriend stop over. Not if she was living at home at 26, I wouldn't. Definitely think it's going to rain, Ben. It's the weekend, but in the green home, there is no time to relax. So you dine them inside out first, and then, then turn just them quick in. rush on the outside. But yeah. you ain't gonna see the inside of them unless you do something. No, that I don't but it's know. like double uh, getting the crease of that. It drives me barmy because it's it's like I'm, but I've got to do something. Get his there. Because with you, the amount of steam you're using there, yeah. you probably get away with it. It's like move out my way. That's like my role. It's Ben's way or no way. That's how I feel. You know. That's stopping on my rule change day. While Ben keeps the garden under control, Chris grabs some time with Shantae. Uh, most of these are just from gala, school galas. So what's the first medal you ever got? This one. That was at my old club. Uh, do you think swimming's quite competitive? Yeah, but you've got to be. What about the girls that you swim with? Basically, they're my target kind of thing. But do you think there's other, other things other than swimming that you'd like to do? I like everything, mm. but I think if I didn't go swimming, then I'd just, I don't know, then I'd just be, I'd get lazy and that, and mm. then I'd like... Is that what you're frightened of then, if you don't go swimming, that you become lazy? Yeah. So who put, set you on to swimming then? Was that your mum or was yeah, that Yeah, mum. Your mum. She's not letting Shantae be a child. She's been a, made a clone of her mother. In that, you know, because Tracy didn't get to do it, Tracy's infringing her values on 
Shantae and that she's you will go swimming, you will do this, you will do that, but there's nothing else has been encouraged, no other outside curriculum. There's more to life than swimming up and down a pissing pool all day. In Birmingham, Tracy is having a night out Ramsey style. She's going swinging. Now, what do you want to drink? Uh, Jack, Daniels, Jack Daniels and Coke, please. Jack Daniels and Coke, Ray. And I'll have uh, Southern Comfort and Coke, please. What? That's a suspension unit. Um, you can use it for different things, to be honest. But it's for fetish. This is fetish, so your um, Serio Masochist. So if you want to be shoved up with your wrists, yes, you off you go. go. I've always thought that people that swing, as there's got to be something missing in the relationship, because if you're happy in what you had, then there wouldn't be a third party involved. Do you want to stand on there and I can show you? No, no, no. Thank you anyway. <laughs> Is there something missing in the relationship to feel the need to have, to have, not have to, but to have sex out of the marriage? We find it brings us closer together because we have um, our fantasies instead of Instead of him having a here, fantasy and me yeah. having a fantasy, we have we can talk about and have a dual fantasy yeah, and yeah. fulfil yeah. that fantasy together. But to just go out and have sex with someone and it, and sorry, I didn't mean to, it meant nothing. To me, why do it then? Wow. Because we're men, we're animals. Why do Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's no. a natural urge, yeah. isn't it? But, but, but we're, we're on different scales with mm. that. You've got to be very careful uh, how you approach it. Yeah. You, you can't force it. No. But tonight, talk about swinging is as far as Tracy is prepared to go. It's rule change day, and both wives are keen to make their mark. I'm not doing it to annoy the kids, I'm doing it to get them to communicate. Restaurants, Chinese. Oh, she sold it, Ellen. <laughs> what, what do you think? No TV, what's going on? <laughs> this family has far too much discipline and authority and not enough fun together. You all live in this family, but you don't tend to function properly together as a family, united. You're trying very hard, okay? I know that you, you love your swimming, um, but I feel you need to take a week off. We're going to spend a girly day out. Get your nails done, look at some clothes, have some pizza in your bedroom, some ice cream, some pop, some music, so you clean up after that? Oh, absolutely. You're not touching it. No. I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it when I'm going to do it, not as she drops them. Sam, you probably won't like me saying this, but I think Jess watches too much television. You know I think she's an intelligent kid. Yeah. <coughs> and I know what you're going to say. I have enrolled her in a nursery. I don't see the point in nursery. I'd be quite happy to wait until she's in preschool or something, but I don't want to go into nursery. Ben, you need to loosen up your attitude. No more household chores. You do far too much in this house. Who's going to do it all? Me, I will. So no more cooking. It's takeaways or we eat out. You can turn to a right roly-poly. Absolutely. It can be a rock roly-poly. Ben has to be a couch potato. He's not allowed to do anything. If there's something on the floor, then we can't, like, pick it up. Oh, even if like you get out of bed and like your bed's messy, you can't tidy up, which I'm still gonna do. I think she's punishing me, and uh, she was trying to say how. I said, well, the things you know I don't like doing, the things you got me doing, the things I like doing, you're stopping me from doing. So I says to me, that's punishing someone. Ray, I don't think you pull your weight in the marriage. I think that Chris does tend to baby you a bit. Um, you've said before that you think that the kids do take the mick and you don't agree with the behaviour and disrespect at times. Yeah. So I need you to tackle this. I personally don't agree with the kids having the partners stay over as I personally find it disrespectful. I wouldn't let my daughters do it. More chance to fly Tracy's in. rules may not be popular with the women, the but the man of the house is a willing convert. To the new rules. To the new rules. I have Alexis run the house. She wanted to. I've Rightly or wrongly, I've sat back in the letter. So, yes, Ramsey strikes back. Ram the Ramsey man is going to be a dad again. Ramsey man's first mission is to take charge in the kitchen. 
Um, it, it's nice to do this because I've never done this before. I'd if I'd have had my way, you see, I'd have uh, bought this off the heat before now, but Tracy just told me it would have been raw. Hello. Can we have um, chicken balls in the batter? Yeah. And can we have some chips? In Nottingham, Shantae's training diet is the first thing to go. Welcome, darling. Right. Looks quite nice, actually. It tastes all right. Yeah. Some turn to right porker. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. Today, as part of the rule changes, Chris is taking Shantae on a shopping spree. It's about her becoming a young lady and having fun. And the emphasis being on fun, because at the moment she's not having that much. Oh, they're nice. They're not bad. Do you feel comfortable in them? Yeah. yeah. You could buy those. And I just said to Ben as we're walking around, I'll tell you what, you get those for Shantae. It's like, uh, okay, if I, should I buy it then, she can be back later. I went, no, you buy them for her, so let's spoil her. And the look of shock on his face, because I've got to, he's got to get his wallet out. Next, we're going to go to a designer shop, Sean. Sean. Up there, there's a designer yeah, shop. Well, a designer no, shop. we'll have a look. Have We've a got look. Ben. He's got a platinum oh, car. Yeah. Oh, he's got a platinum car. We'll have a look and see what's in there. All right. We'll treat ya. We'll have some fun. It's nice to spoil them now and then. It is, as long as they thank you for it. But if they get used to it, then they're not grateful for it. Right. Behind both. Huh? What, what do you like and what you don't like? Do you like the jeans? I don't think they look round. They look lovely, aren't they? They look nice, aren't they? Especially that don't thing Don't worry about them and me. I don't want them, though. She's, like, trying to force me to buy these clothes I didn't want to buy, you know? But I didn't want Ben to buy them, because I didn't, I didn't want them. Thank you very much. Bye. Right, bye. Right. Thank you, anyway. What's it's not about Ben spending money. It's about Ben spending time and letting Shantae grow up into a young lad and have fun, and have fun. Under Tracy's new rules, 16-year-old Ginny is due home at 10.30. It's now 11.15. Where's Ginny? Aaron's. What, now? Right, can I have the phone to phone, please, somebody? Hello, Ginny. I want you home now, please. Come on. Principal, a bit is. We agreed, eh? on, we agreed on half past ten. She was trying to twist it. She was trying to say that you said as long as she didn't stay in the same yes, room. The, the difference is, Ray, I said half past ten for a start, it's quarter past eleven. So what's she doing out of the house? Mm. Now, she asked for eleven. Oh, ten, was, ten was my first deadline. She said eleven. It, it just seems every time I negotiate with Ginny, she takes the yeah. I'm sorry I'm swearing, but... It's right, you're right. You're so right. I think what I've learned with, with Ginny is don't negotiate. I've got to work out what to do. An hour after curfew, Ginny finally appears. Well, do you mean why are you in trouble, Ginny? I said half past ten. Yeah, I had, oh. I'm watching back round. But you well, don't know, you don't walk anyone back I'm watching round. round to get his keys. But you, you don't. don't walk round. That's what I'm saying. I've come home at half past ten. We agreed. It, it, what it seems to you, every time I negotiate with you, you take the mech. Yeah, you do. You don't take the mech. I was in yesterday. It did on half ten. You went tonight. I didn't give you a half I bought it back round. I mean, half eleven yesterday. I bought it back round to get his keys. After half ten, that was the rules. I bought it back round to get his keys. You're not supposed to be out, don't you understand? Half ten, we said. Yeah, I was back for half ten. I don't give a <laughs> Half ten, we said. At the end of the day, you should have been in. You shouldn't have been out. Why did you go out the house? To get his keys. Why have you got to get his keys? Because he's going to meet his dad. You missed me excuses, you? Oh, I'm not making excuses. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, Ray, we're asking for this because we're we're standing there explaining ourselves. You just need to explain stuff, but no. No, I don't. We're not really. I'll tell you something. You can give your dad your mobile for a start. You can tell me with your mobile. And don't go anywhere tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere anyway. Well, that's good. So, no, it isn't all. That's, that, 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 at the moment... I'm not being rude. I'll give you my phone. Go to your room. Well, at the moment, that's what I've said. You can say bye to our room. You're too damn rude. Ian. I'm taking part. You ain't. Yeah, taking part. Yeah, that's what I've just done. At the time, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to kill her. And I just wanted to give up.
I just wanted to think, no, that's it, I've had enough. If I can't see my boyfriend, then why should I stick it out? I try to just me to basically go back to how I was, very discipline wise, uh, for this for this task. And I don't see why I don't carry on. I don't see why, because I think I'm getting more out of it. You know, short term, okay, the kids want to talk to me, but I think long term they'll benefit. Right, I've, yeah, I've noticed you've tidied up in here. Just once I've got over in, really. Chris has taken over the household chores, but Ben's finding it hard to let go. Like I say, the table could do with a good cleaning. But well, we haven't used it, so why does it need a good cleaning? Sean should have done it, but when you change the rules, you didn't do it the next day. It's fine. So if we're not doing it the next day, it's been But we like haven't that. used it. It's a bit of dust. That ain't dust. That's crumbs. Oh, well. You've got crumbs everywhere. Sean's usually tidies up the shoes around here. Mm. But it's a hallway. You put things in a hallway. Yeah, you shoes. do, but if you're going towards upstairs, it's a tripping hazard. <laughs> no, it's just, but it is. Oh. Uh, he really is a He's like, I'm living with an 80-year-old. Not, I know he's a little bit older than me, but not that much older. And it's like, I'm living with my granddad. Yeah, did that on purpose. No, that's the coffee machine, oh, yeah. actually, the lid on the coffee machine. I didn't do that on purpose, oh. seriously. It's a coffee lid thing. What I'm saying is it would have been cleaned up. I don't think about things like that until I'm doing them. Hmm. But it's like you're walking around going, it's a bit painful. Yeah, but what I'm saying is it's like, say, slippers there. I don't fancy tripping up them. And that's that bothered you now, those slippers, don't it, Mum? Yeah, that's because, it, to me, it's a tripping hazard. Okay. In the Ramsey house, Tracy's rules are starting to pay off. I do understand I was in the wrong last night. And I'm sorry for that. I weren't raving mad, but I was quite... I was more let down. I felt let down. That's the thing I didn't let happen. I mean, I was like, oh, you know, obviously. I'm not going to argue with you because I'm not going to raise my voice because you're not my mum. I have more respect for you but because... you need to have more respect for your mum. Exactly. Tracy now has some time off, as Sam has taken on all the mothering duties for baby Jess. It's actually making a big difference to my life. And actually just sit there, I think it's actually quite a good thing. And the more and more I think about it, and the more and more I like the changes, and the more and more I actually see myself as being a different person, which is a good thing. Are you tired, Jess? Don't you dare go to sleep. Under her new rules, Tracy is making Sam put Jess into nursery and find a job. I've seen a lot of bad-tempered kids come out of nursery and I've seen them swearing and things like that, and I don't want Jess that for Jess. Jess is quite content with just me. She's learning a lot from me as it is. I don't know. I'm sure she does. With Sam, this is a very touchy subject. It's a very an emotional subject. Um, as a mother, you, you always try and give 100%. So what I'm a little bit apprehensive is, is I don't want, I'm not here to make her feel a bad mum. I'm here to help, try and help her be a, be a better mum, I suppose. Hello? Huh? some toys. Give them some toys, some children. Hello. This is mum, by the way. Okay. You all right? <laughs> Internet. Ready? And we have lift off. To help Shantae keep in touch with her friends and have more fun, Chris has moved the computer into her bedroom. No, what no, does no. Tracy use then? What do you mean, what does Tracy well, use? It's stuck in this room. The other room is the computer Tracy room. can come in and use it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Tracy looks at the computer at night time. She can still do it. She, but she, she just has to, to do it. Bed. Well, you do it together as a group, as Sean's a family. Sean's that. Sean's likes to do music and yeah. do her pictures like that. Yeah, let her do right, it. Right, so to me... It's called playing, Ben. Is it? Yeah, it is called playing. Playing it's called what? having fun. You're supposed to be her parents. I'm also supposed You're to, supposed I'm to be also her supposed to be a garden and explain to her, understand that you don't get everything just like that. No. Just that's like about, that. No, that's just you, Ben. No, just that's like you. that. It's not just like that. It is just a like computer, that. every child should have a computer in their home. Every we child. Have got a computer no, in their home. You control no. the computer. Hang on. We you have control got what she does and what she doesn't do. Right. You're the you one that by. says no. But what I'm saying it's just like that in my face. Right. Isn't just you should you can't do th the way you control everybody in this house, Ben, yeah. right. is under your rules, right? right? Well, yep. She's an 11 year old girl and yeah. this is a life for her. Do you want the computer this in is... your room, Chance? 
I'm not really bothered. Do you want the computer in your room, Charles? I'm not really, not. Oh, I like it in my room, yeah. Well, tell See, mom, she likes tell it in mom, her room. Then. Tell mum. She's become a child again. She's gone from a shy girl. And I know you know it's taken some time for her to get used to me, but her whole personality's changed. It's as if, yeah, I'm allowed to do this. I can have fun. And I can become, you know, me. She's become an individual as opposed to Ben telling her what she can do. While Jess is at nursery, Tracy's taking Sam to learn to teach pole dancing. You can be a mum, not a part-time mum. You can spend time with Jess, hence the nursery, and also do this as for a living for a nine to five Monday to Friday job. Jump up, no legs, and stay there as long as you can. Oh yeah, you should try. So she can still come home, she can be a mum to Jess, and she can also have a separate passion. Because um, she's only young and it gets a bit boring being a mum. If I get the qualifications and I do it, then I won't be working as a lap dancer. I'll be doing the teaching, that will be like a normal job, so I get to spend more time with Jess. Tracy's career plan for Sam is going well. Jess! But she's yet to convince her about nursery for Jess. So, Sam, biggest question of all. You said you were going to assess her behaviour. <coughs> what did you assess? My first impressions are good, all good. I'm glad she enjoyed herself. It looked like she enjoyed herself, so I'm happy. Ow. Half a Carlin, please, and a Carlsberg. Point. Ray's usual idea of a romantic night out is to take his wife swinging. But Tracy's keen to show him there's other ways to spend time together. What do you think Chris would signify as being romantic that would mean a lot to me that you could do? Well, I suppose um, just going off at random and giving her a, a peck. You know, giving her a peck on the cheek, like, you know. I'll bet you any money if she comes home and you've cooked her dinner, she'll probably fall off a chair, but I'll tell I you something. I probably would as well. I'll tell you something, though, it would mean the world to her. I think you've got a definite lack of communication. Yeah. And when she comes back, we're heart gonna, to uh, I'm going to address it seriously. Heart, heart to heart. I didn't realise how she felt. And I don't think you do, you take, you take each other for granted. And so, really, I mean, this is a lifeline. I think it's a lifeline. It'll do us good. Pour the pot. Ah! Lovely. Call those E numbers. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Chris's campaign to spoil Chante continues with a party for her friends. I believe that Chante wants her friends to stay over and she wants to eat with them. She has to clean up her own mess. Don't think if, if I brought my mates round and I'd have to clean my mess up. So she one of her mates to have a party. That's what she wants. Then she can have it, but she needs to clean up. He's obsessed, this man. Absolutely obsessed with controlling people. You're gaining a, a, a daughter that's enjoying herself and having fun and learning to be a family. But he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't grasp it. And he can't oh, surely he can't be that thick. <laughs> When I first met Chris, like, I, I thought, like, I thought I wasn't going to get on with her and I thought, like, she was going to be one of these people who didn't, who didn't believe in working and didn't believe in, like, cleaning and didn't believe, just, like, stuff like that, so. But I've, I've got on with her and she's a really nice lady. Chris's style of parenting is proving less popular with Ben and his friends. Anything she wants. I will go and get her. Oh. Do I think my kids respect, respect me? Yeah. I hope they respect me. But you can't say whether they do or not. No. You should know. I hope, no, I hope my kids. Well, I, I hope my kids respect me and are not in fear of me. That's it, I used to have rules. I, I have done that. You will do as I say, and they've yeah, left. Yeah, but what are you worried and about? And they've left. I'm not worried. Them I'm not worried. No, I'm not worried about anything. I don't know, I'm just asking you, no, you're worried, worried about, about them leaving. Absolutely nothing about my kids. If they want to leave home, that is their choice. But at least I know... But you're trying to keep it... them there. No, I'm not. If you're buying everything for them, yeah. they're going to stay there. Well, of course they would, wouldn't you? Precisely. Oh. <laughs> I will move into your they're house. They're my kids. I'm not just going to stop giving them what they want once they reach 16. Yeah, to me, buying you them. You ain't having no more money because you're now 16. You're buying your kids. I'm not buying my kids. You're buying them to be there. No, I'm not. You are. You're paying for everything. You're buying them. No, they live at home because they choose to live at home. Because, because you're buying them. <laughs> I 
think the conversations I've had um, just how much my kids probably don't respect me when I thought they did <laughs> um, I really thought you know it's not about discipline because discipline and respect are two different things um, but the more like Ben says to me do your kids respect you I can't answer him truth because I don't I don't think they do <laughs> so things are going to have to change at home <laughs> It's the end of the swap and time for the wives to return to their families. I can't wait to get home, but I still feel a little bit sad about saying goodbye to the girls. I don't need to go to a way to a, a weekend therapy course because I think I've just learnt that in my last few days. Our <laughs> family is functioning a lot more like a family now. We're talking and uh, we're getting things resolved doing it that way, so I shall keep that up. Celebrate it. First. Not bad. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Chris, nice to meet you. Hello, Hobby. <laughs> the first thing I went in with was the discipline. Mm. Um, the lovely kids, but they kind of had no structure. They just did what they wanted. I've discovered over this last week or so, the last two weeks, that my kids take the out of me yeah. and they have took the out of me Don't there's no discipline you. in my home but i wouldn't want it as disciplined as yours no you just meet halfway you know if you just no you can't meet you, well how do you meet halfway in your house because it seems to me but it's me, all ben's way in that house no me and sean's have we really get on we never fall out well you don't have a close relationship as you think you do with shantae i'll tell you now you well don't. i'm glad maybe i don't because, because your house is a house it's not a home Shantae is too old-headed. She's 11 years yeah. old and she scares me in that she's very swimming orientated and it seems you're trying to live out your swimming in her because obviously from what I gather you used to be a very good swimmer mm -hmm. and then obviously for whatever reason mm -hmm. you then stopped doing that and Shantae loves her swimming. I'm not take, I would never take that away from her but she lacks other things. Everything, like her friends, like Ben says, she's allowed one person I to stop. I didn't start. say she was allowed you one person. You did, Ben. I don't want more than one stopping. No, well, she had a, oh, she had a sleepover um, yeah, in the bedroom. Are, and she was you. one different child last week to this, ch this the child this week. I've never heard her laugh so much. She's allowed to relax more. She's not been uptight about what she does or what she doesn't mm -hmm. do in the house. I've always mm -hmm. said that. And yeah. I, like I said, I've he's told, always told me, it, tell her he's all always the time told me that. that she's 11. I spend a lot of time with her with her swimming. You know, I'm the main driver of that. But I've realised that I need to take time mm. to allow her to be a child more. Well, if I've got anything out of this, it's, it's uh, um, I've took back control of the kids. You've took it back? Yeah, I've took it back you in a big way. Then well. you need to back off as I'm, well in I'll your way. Back, yeah. I'll back her all the way now. That's what you but should But I am going to be the main, the dominant force. In Not there. Chris, it'll yeah. be me now. Where Ben's concerned is he's obsessed with things in the house, like you've got to have a bin. No, and but you're he's working too hard. Inspection. No, but you, you're working too hard inspections. and what I do is help he's Tracy out. He a room out. inspection, that, that, a room inspection. Mm. If he had a whistle, Captain Von Trapp, mm. yeah, it's yeah. very regimental, very structured where, in the house. And I'm not saying my house over, is perfect. You find it very hard to stand back and let uh, somebody else. Back, Not really, though. because I find it boring just doing nothing. Yeah. I went to a swinging club, by the way. Did you? And yeah. so, just to understand what it was all about, and mm. I said to you, didn't I? Honestly, yeah. if you have to do that, do you think there's something missing in your marriage? Mm. Question mark. Mm. And he said, no, our marriage is perfect. Mm. And I said to him, you know what, it ain't perfect. Oh, I'm definitely going to be a more romantic woman, oh. definitely. If she comes downstairs looking lovely. And I say, it gets to here, and I stop. Oh, yeah, instead of saying, yeah, told me that. oh, you look lovely. And I say, I know it's only a couple of words, but I don't. Mm. I don't say it, and I should. You should. This is contempt and he said the words, for didn't you? And that's going to change. Good. Are you going to make her cry now? I think you your better turn. give her a cuddle. Your turn. No, you're going to cuddle your wife first. <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs>
Oh, we can do it. Yeah. I love. Yeah. Where's the telly gone? Oh, you miss me. You're still my head in. You miss the telly? Yeah. Have you? In the month since the swap, there have been big changes in the greenhouse. I think it gave me the power to say, you know something, this has got to change now. And we'll spend that extra little bit of quality time together. And we've been out for a couple of meals together, and we've even had a couple of takeaways, haven't we? Mm. Um, not excessive, because it gives me a stomach ache. And it's not all work and no play for Shantae. It's important to, like... Do things what you need to do, like with work and that, but it's also important to have fun. We've had a couple of girly shopping days as well. That's why our wardrobe's so full. Mm. When he does the ironing, he's moaning he can't get the stuff in the wardrobe. <laughs> and in Birmingham, the Ramsey home is a very different place. Clever girl. Go on. Sam has moved out and is now a full-time mother to Jess. We are grandparents now. Well, I'm a grandmother now. I always was a grandmother, but I was actually a mother. So that, and that's stopped. Um, so the house has just changed so much now in that there's no toys or mess anywhere and food on the floor. And, and I don't miss it. I think the whole experience made me like, think, no, what do I actually want from like, life sort of thing? And I wanted to get a different job and I wanted to put Jess in nursery, give her some time with other children away from me so I've got time to myself. Enjoy my Chris own. has got more time with Ray yes. and they've got big plans. Next year we've married 21 years. When we got married all those years ago, we got married in the register office and as he was a divorcee. Um, and now um, we've got the church due next year. It's all books, beautiful church, 10 bridesmaids. Mm. What a nightmare. Yeah. Are we looking for substitutes? Anybody <laughs> wants a substitute? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm.